Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, right now we're about to start the needle aspiration. Um, get some of this fluid out of my stomach. I've been in my faha all day. But being that I don't have a drain in, I do need to uh, aspirate. So, get some of this fluid out. So here we go. I already have my setup. Um, let's get a little closer. So I'm gonna turn this light on too. This one. So here is my water bottle that I put the fluid in. Uh, it's clean. I just emptied out some water from it. This is my syringe still in the package, sterile. This is my um my gauze that my four by four gauze. This is just a wound wash um that I got from Amazon and this is uh alcohol that I put in the spray bottle so that um I won't have to just constantly put uh alcohol on the pads. So back back out. Okay, so I did massage myself um, to kind of work the fluids down a bit towards the front where I can go ahead and stick the needle right here and get the fluid out, okay? Don't be nervous. I know everybody gets nervous about these needles and stuff like this. So I'm gonna put my gloves on and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I really wish I had a little bit more room to do this. Let me see. So, so this is my scar. That's the opening. I know it looks it looks rough and well, I'm saying like my skin, I look a little, but um, I am kind of swollen a bit. <laughs> to test to see if you do have a pocket of fluid, um, if you press on one side, you might may see a if you can see that wave so and then you'll see the flatness of it and also it's a lot less pressure once you get that fluid out so I'm going to spray my gosh and I'm going to clean the area I try to keep the environment as sterile as possible to prevent any introduction of bacteria to the site. I don't know if that lamp in the background is uh, too much light or if my room light is too much light. I don't know if I have too much light going on right here. Okay, so now I'm going to open it. Okay, so it separates the needle and the syringe itself. Yes, it separates. So you got to uh, press it until you hear a snap 
which is going to be the um, pink part connecting to the syringe. The needle is connected to the syringe. I do not have filling in my lower belly, which is where I'm going to introduce the needle. It's so disgusting trying to do this with these damn titties. Okay. So, I may not get a lot. I'm not that swollen. Well, I'm not, I don't feel like I got a lot of fluid. I'm swollen, but I don't know how much fluid I'm going to get out. Okay, so I can see the two, the two entry, if you can see those two dots right there from where I aspirated the last two times. Um, I go, I don't go through the same hole. I kind of go up a little bit or right next to it, but not the same hole. So I try to squeeze. Again, I'm right next to the one that I did the other day so that I know the last time I had a good, um, a good flow right there. Okay, so now the needle is in all the way. Okay. So then I start to pull on the syringe to see and look. You see, I got an even, I got a quick flow already because I have the fluid accumulated and plus I went right next to the entry mark um, or the entry site from last time where I knew I had, uh, where I got a good flow from. So as long as you got a good flow, it should be no problem the syringe pull out easily if you if you're not getting a good a good flow is not gonna pull as easy so I got a full syringe so what I'm gonna do is stand over my pad because it may start to leak and once I disconnect the Okay. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's leaking, it's dripping, and I had it dripping onto my pad. closer now y'all this shit get messy it does so just be prepared for it like it's dripping on my pants right now but I can't <laughs> Maybe if I put, um, I should put a pad 
on one second okay as y'all can see if you can see I have the needle is inside and you can see that it's draining on its own without the syringe so now I just use the syringe to create that extra suction and to kind of measure the milliliters or the milk yeah milliliters so <clears throat> I squirt it in there and I try to see if I would get like a full bottle you know so I reinserted it and I'm going to pull it in And I'm not having any trouble pulling this out because I have a good entry and I guess a lot of fluid. So again, when you pull that out, it's going to keep leaking if you have fluid. So while it's leaking, I try to keep pressing. Trying to work it down. Okay, so like right now, it's kind of fighting me to pull it out. So what I do is I try to pull to get enough suction, and then I press. And then you see it starts to go again. As long as you have fluid in that pocket, it's going to be easy to pull that syringe. And if it's not as easy, don't stop there. You may not be done. You got to keep going. You got to keep pressing until absolutely nothing comes out of that syringe. Because it it's going to get to the point where nothing comes out of the syringe. Or comes into the syringe. disconnect and because this is a clean bottle all I did was empty the water out of it I sit that in here I sit the um, syringe in here for a while sometimes while I maneuver so I'm not going to touch my my stomach with this part of my hands because I have some fluid on it but I'm going to press down Like I said, y'all, it gets messy, so just know you have you have to have a a setup. I mean, I could be in the bathroom doing this, but I do everything. In my bedroom.
And let's see. It ain't pretty. This journey is beautiful, but it's not pretty at the same time. I mean, it's not all gonna be crop tops and flip flops. This you gonna have to. You gotta get to the crop tops, and this, this is how you get to the crop tops. Now, what do I know? This is my first round, but since I since I've made it through the surgery process, going through the healing process. Who is that? Cam? Cam? Oh, Lord, that little baby one. Cameron, go downstairs with Maya and Carter. Look, he's trying to pick my lot. All right, so I'm probably going to let this, it's at 16 minutes, 17 minutes. I'll probably let it go to 20 minutes, and then I'm going to uh, let you guys go and finish it up and get myself cleaned up and back into my faha. Uh, And I'll be as gentle as I possibly can with this syringe because I can't feel nothing, but that don't mean it can't poke nothing up in there. See, like that time I got like a little clot in the syringe. And that's another reason why it may not come out. You might be pulling in a clot. All right, guys, so I'm going to finish up and get cleaned up and throw this stuff away. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay. Whew. 
And look, one thing I do want to add, um, you may, it gets hot standing up here doing this, especially if you're doing it yourself. Make sure you drink water if you're going to take your bromelain um, or turmeric, anything that uh, helps with swelling. Do that, I would say about 30 minutes before where you can be hydrated and, um, and if, depending on what time of the day or how often you take your pain medication, I only take the Tylenol extra strength, ibuprofen sometimes, um, the same way the prescription was given to me from my doctor, uh, while I was still in DR, but do that beforehand when you, if you know you're going to go ahead and aspirate. And make sure that you have a ceiling fan on or something to keep you kind of cool. Because the first time I did it, I got lightheaded and I started, like, I got, I started to sweat. So then I had to sit down and get a bottle of water and turn on a fan and cool off before I was able to finish it. So that's all I have for tonight. Um, next video, maybe massage and getting into my garment okay because it's all a process so if you need to learn or you just want to see somebody else's journey just follow along okay uh okay i'll talk to you guys later bye